Welcome back everyone. This is episode five of Chasing Greatness. So our goal for this year is to win 10 games and beat our division rival. We have a lot of booster goals as well. Uh, looks like we can get 7.5 million for our rival game. So that's a big one. We can also get 3.75 million if we win six conference games. Some of these other ones are a little bit harder. Uh, we should definitely be able to get the uh, rushing uh, stat, since that's what we're going for. So we should be able to get that goal for sure. Uh, sacking the opposing quarterback 29 times. Uh, it's possible, but it's going to be kind of hard. And having a safety earn all conference honors. We do have two good safeties, so it's possible. Okay, our offensive talent's 85. Our defensive talent's 85 good for 21st and 18th in the country. So right now we have a preseason ranking of number 23. So pretty nice. Let's check our recruits before we get going. Try to get all these visits set up. Also, better not forget about offering scholarships. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, we're offered the B minus guys, but uh, that's it for. <laughs> We can't go any lower than that. Okay, we'll take these guys off quickly. B minus. C minus, no. B, nice. Another B. And a C minus. Okay, we have more talent than Virginia, and hopefully our offense is going to perform better than it did last season. We do have pretty weak running back room, so uh, Everett's going to have to get the ball almost all the time. Now, we have a lot of potential, I mean, a lot of great potential in our running backs. Um, we're going to work course, and we'll see what happens. If these guys like Harley and Curtis McGill cannot run the ball, we might have to let Everett carry it every time. But for now, we'll kind of let him share. Okay, we're favored win by seven. We did beat them last season 16-13. Okay, to halftime, we're down seven. To the fourth quarter, we've got a little bit closer and we're driving second and goal. We can only make the field goal though. Okay, our defense holds them. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we're moving the ball pretty nicely downfield. Another first down. A major two yard loss there, that could hurt. Another one yard loss. A 12 yard pass. We should kick the field goal. We'll see what happens. And he makes it. Alex Uli. So it's 19-17. However, Virginia drives and kicks their own field goal from 43 yards out. Let's see if the offense can come through one more time. No yard. 
No yards on that one. Six yards by Everett. Seven yard pass with 226 left in the first down. Another one yard loss by Harley. One yard run by McGill, third and 10. It's not looking good. Incomplete. Let's see what happens here. Incomplete, and that should be ball game. So Oklahoma State starts off the season with a loss. Uh, Everett runs the ball decently, 20 carries for 84 yards, 4.2 yard average. Harley Zinajas, or Zinajas ran it for 15 times for 59 yards. Curry had two big plays. Uh, McGill carried the ball eight times for only three yards. So definitely going to move the rotation just to two running backs and uh, see where we go from there. So pretty painful loss to open up the season. Only one touchdown by our offense. Okay, of course, we fall out of the top 25 with that terrible loss. We do have the most defensive talent we've ever had, so that's nice. We can check our recruits real quick, make sure everyone has a visit who needs it, or scholarship offer. Okay, we'll check our guys who we do not know about the potential yet. C minus, C plus, B minus, D, and D plus. Okay, Baylor has similar talent to Virginia. So hopefully we can get the win. We're going to go to a two-back set. Try to keep Everett on the, in, on the field as much as we can. Okay, we're favored to win by four and a half. Let's see if we can do that. Baylor did beat us in 2023, 21-13. Okay, at halftime, we're up three. Uh, we did miss a field goal at the end of the half. It was a 52-yarder, so not easy. To the fourth quarter, we're down by three. Can the defense hold? They give up a field goal, but now we got the ball. Four-yard run. 13-yard pass. Seven-yard run. 13-yard run. 11-yard pass. We're doing well. Let's keep it up. Oh, intercepted. That's what I get for saying it. Can the defense come up clutch? They cannot. Giving up a touchdown on a two-point conversion, it is not looking good for our guys. We're not able to drive or do anything, and that's how the game ends. 30-16. to 16. Uh, We did not run the ball well or often. Getting down was pretty rough. Uh, Harley did have six carries for 44 yards. Everett, 11 carries for 24 yards. Just, just pretty bad. Okay, we're 0-2. Is Coach Barry Sanders going to get fired this season? Who knows? Got a big game with TCU coming up. Okay, if we get blown out this game, or, or if our offense cannot take care of business I mean we're one of the worst scoring teams so far we might switch to a balanced offense which we would lose some of our play calling efficiency but maybe our offense could work a little bit okay drop in with our last recruit find out what potential he has B plus nice Go ahead and schedule our last few visits that we need to fill in.
Okay, very similar talent. We have a slight talent on offense, but really hasn't helped us. We're favored to lose by four and a half. Okay, to halftime, we're losing 35 to 16. Last five minutes, we made it a little bit closer. If we go on to lose 41 to 22. Uh, we run the ball a lot better. Uh, Everett doesn't really do great. Madden's able to run the ball well. Harley adds a couple of decent runs. Uh, TCU just outplayed us easily, though. Yuli does go 5-for-5 five five on field goals. <laughs> we just can't put the ball in the end zone. Okay, Oklahoma State's now 0-3 on the season. We turn over the ball the most we ever have. We, all, we did set a record for completions, though, so that helps a little bit. Okay, we do have a major talent advantage. I think we're still going to focus on running. We'll see if we can just do better. Hmm. And we just have terrible running backs. Everett's a decent running back for sure, and he could be really good next season, but he's just not there yet. I think we'll set it to auto. Okay. And he's probably getting too tired being in all the time, so I guess we'll go back to rotation size of three players. Okay, we are favored to win by ten and a half. That's nice. Let's see if we can do that. Halftime, we're up 17. That's nice. Fourth quarter, we're up 34. Final five minutes, we had a little bit more, and we hold on to win 54 to 10. That's a great victory for us. Uh, Madden has extremely good game. Everett runs the ball well. I mean, pretty much everyone does a pretty good game for us. 54-10. to 10, Definitely our best offensive performance of the season. Okay, so we set a couple of records. Uh, Madden and Burnett. We had a re return touchdown. That definitely helped. Set a new record for points scored. And our defensive talent rating must have tied again. Okay, Arizona likes to pass the football. Very similar talent to, uh, to us, so it should be a pretty good game. Just check how our recruits are looking. Okay, we're ahead of all 15 there. Pretty nice. So we got top 20 guys we're ahead of. Trying to see if there's anyone we really need to try to pick up here. Okay, we'll put a little bit more money towards Lancaster. Long is a pretty decent offensive lineman. Got a couple more gems. We'll go after Malone, offer him a little bit of cash. We can re red shirt Jesus O'Neill. He has no interest in money though. Okay, Arizona's favored to win by three. 
We did beat them in the regular season 30-20, to 20, but they had revenge in the Fiesta Bowl. Okay, to halftime, we're down three. Only six to three games so far. To the fourth quarter, we've taken the lead 17-9. Can the offense hold on and maybe add a little bit to the lead? They cannot. Come on, defense. Oh, gave up the touchdown, but stopped the two-point conversion. So we still have a small lead. Major touchdown right there. Romero Madden to Billy Romero. The Romero connection, 24-15. Okay, defense holds. Can the offense run out the clock? They do. That's ball game. Madden has a great game. He only threw the ball 12, or he only completed 12 passes, but three for touchdowns. Everett and uh, Zendajus, or Zendajus, maybe, I guess. Uh, well, we'll just call him Harley. Both had decent rushing games. Everett really has not got it going this year. But a win's a win. And against a very good Arizona team. Okay, Bennett Tyler taking a major injury for three weeks. He'll need to be benched. Okay, Jesus Peterson has already signed with the team. Our first recruit for this season. Let's see if we can pick up another Jesus. Uh, the pitch is only available as the head coach or the offensive coordinator pitch. Also, we can go ahead and check for anyone who might be committing soon to make sure we have the lead or close enough to it. Okay. Okay, big game against undefeated Texas Tech. They're 5 and 0. Oh. We do have the talent advantage, but uh they look like they can play. We are favored to win by 2 though. To halftime we're up 10. To the fourth quarter we're up 10. Final five minutes, we're still up 10. Can the defense hold? They give up a field goal. Offense can get the ball back and see if we can run out the clock. Three seconds left, and that's ball game. Everett having one of his best rushing games, going 24 carries for 121 yards. Madden has an excellent game, going 25 of 33 with four touchdowns. Oklahoma State upsetting Texas Tech. Of course, the AI did believe we were going to win anyway, but when you beat the number 15 team in the country, you got to be happy. Okay, we pick up our next recruit. I actually get two, two linebackers. Mason Desai from Ashton, Illinois, and Ray Greer from Montaba, Texas. Madden and Jensen both set a lot of records for our passing attack. Wow, Darren Lane got sacked eight times by South Carolina. That's not good. Okay, we do have the talent advantage on Kansas. We'll see if we can uh, make sure we win this game. Okay, we're favored only to win by four points. Both our victories over Kansas so far have been extremely close games. This one should be close as well. Okay, at halftime, we're up 16. Fourth quarter, we're up 30. Last five minutes, they got a little bit closer. We go on to win 44 to 10. Everett gets 17 carries for 91 yards. McGill gets to run the ball for 66 yards. Madden has another good game. So after starting season 0-3, Oklahoma State doing big things. Okay, so let's check our conference standings and see if we have any chance at winning division. 
We pick up two more linebackers. Wow. Stanley Manning and Timothy Malone. One from Nebraska and one from Texas. Okay, we are on top of our division. It's a three-way tie with BYU and Cincinnati. The other side, of course, has TCU, Baylor, Texas Tech, UCF, and West Virginia. All three and two are better. Houston's the only one below 500, and they're two and three. Okay, looks like we're ahead on a lot. We are behind on Davis Emerson. But we just got a ton of linebackers, so not a big deal. Okay, it looks like might be all we can go for right now. Okay, on to next week. Okay, we've got two guys recovered, so that's nice. Okay, Minnesota likes to run the football too. Very similar talent to us. Should be an excellent game. Okay, we're favored to win by two and a half. We did beat them 20 to 15 last season. Okay, at halftime, it's not looking pretty. We're down 17 to the fourth quarter. We've gotten a little bit closer, but they're driving. They had a field goal. We're down 17 points. We'll see what the offense can do. Nice six yard run, incomplete, incomplete, punt. Okay, we do get the ball back. Intercepted. Touchdown given up, and that's gonna pretty much be game. We do add a touchdown at the very end to make it look a little bit closer. But yeah, not a good game for Oklahoma State. Everett runs all over them for 16 carries and 159 yards, but just, not enough. Well, the great thing about that loss is not a conference game. Uh, Joseph's now healthy as well. Big division game. Are we still tied with BYU? We are. So this could go a long way in determining who's going to win the division. Okay, BYU likes to run the football. Very equal opportunity here for us. Might be a lot of running this game. Okay, we've won both games against them so far. A 31-26 victory and a 34-24. And it's a home game for us, so that, that can help. Okay, we're up 14. We did give up a touchdown at the very last play. 58-yard Hail Mary. But we still have a nice lead. To the fourth quarter, we're up 40 to 14, last five minutes. We're still up 26, and we go on to win by that score, 43-17. Everett runs very nicely, 18 carries, 161 yards. Harley adds 71 yards and two touchdowns, and McGill gets 67 yards himself. Okay, we had a lot of recruits in for that game, so uh, we end up picking up two more recruits, Grayson Bell and Jackson Pearson. They're going to be joining us. Set a, new, set a couple of new team records, so very nice on that. Okay, we already have seven commits. We'll see where that puts us so far. That does put us at number six in the country, but they're all three and two stars, so... We'll start dropping pretty quick.
Okay, we're ahead on a lot of other guys we should be picking up. Actually, probably can go back and take some of those pitches off and try to get one more guy. Then we're up almost 2,000 points. We don't need that pitch. Drop it down. There we go. Okay, West Virginia is a balanced team, five and four. Pretty solid team overall. I think we're trying to give Everett the ball a little bit more. He's doing really well lately. He's got his yards per carry to 5.3, 874 yards on the year. I think he can run strong. Okay, this is a big game for us. If we win this game, we could pretty much clinch the division. Okay, we're favored to win by four. We did beat them in 2024, 34 to 10. We'll see if we can keep that up. Okay, to halftime, we're down eight to the fourth quarter. We're up 23 to 14, up nine points. Come on, defense. We're driving second and goal. Third and goal. And a touchdown for Madden to Curry. That should be your game. They turn over at ball on downs, and we run out the clock. Everett responds to getting the ball more. 32 carries, 170 yards. Antoine gets one carry for 42. Harley adds 41 when he gets a chance. Plus, Madden had three touchdowns. So, very nice victory for Oklahoma State. Moving to 6-4 and four on the season, and 5-2 and two in conference. Okay, we pick up a couple more recruits. We pick up Jesus O'Neill and Arturo Williamson. So now we're up to nine commits on the season. We do lose out on Martin Davidson. We were close, but we lost out. Okay, we're still favored on 11 more guys. That'll get us to 20. Feeling pretty nice about that. Okay, Kansas State, we have the talent advantage, but as we've seen this season, that doesn't always guarantee a win. Let's check out how our running back is doing compared to the rest of the country. Okay, Everett is the sixth highest rushing yards. And it's 5.3 yards of carry. He's not too shabby as well. It's broken 21 tackles, which might be near the top. Actually, it's not. Still not bad, though. Okay, Kansas State's beat us both times we played them. Let's we'll see if we can get a little bit of revenge. Okay, at halftime, we're up 11. To the fourth quarter, we're up 18. Last five minutes, we're up 25, and that should be it. 38-13, to 13, great game by Oklahoma State. Everett gets 160 yards with 31 carries. Curry adds 45, and Harley gets 25 yards per carry. Madden throws for three touchdowns and rushes for two touchdowns. So very, very nice game for him. Oklahoma State moves to 7-4 on the season and 6-2 and in conference play. Okay, with the win, we add 
a lot more recruits. Looks like we got five added. O'Brien, Wise, and Pate, all tailbacks, and they're all joining us. Mason Menza, maybe. Uh, he is joining us from Texas as a receiver, and Donovan Hogan will hopefully be blocking for him. Tristan Burnett setting a season or team record for return yards, so really nice there. Okay, we've already clinched our division, but it sure would be nice to end with a win against Cincinnati. That'll move us to 8-4 and four on the year, if we can hold out and get the win. We did lose out on Davis Emerson. It was a very close race by only 66 points. Okay, done with that. Okay, the Bearcats like to run the football as well, so we got to try to stop the run this game. Favored to win by seven, and we have the season or the series lead to the nothing, so let's keep it up. Okay, to halftime, we're only up three to the fourth quarter. We're up 14. Last five minutes, we've added a little bit more, and we hold on to win, 30-13. to 13. Everett goes for 128 yards. Harley chips in 54. Another big run by a receiver for 26. And a nice victory for Oklahoma State. Moving to 8-4 and four on the season and 7-2 and two in conference play. Okay, we'll get our invite to the Big, T big 12 Conference Championship. We add two more recruits, both quarterbacks. Pablo Bradley, A-plus quarterback. He can be our future starter. And we also add Craig Perry from Kentucky. Okay, big conference championship game against TCU. It's going to be a very tough win for us. We do have better talent on offense. I guess we'll focus on trying to stop their passing attack. Okay, TCU's favored to win by two, which is not as much as you would think. We've played them twice in the conference championship so far, and we've lost both games. Okay, to halftime. We're up 11. It's kind of surprising. Let's see if we can keep it up. To the fourth quarter, they've made it a little bit closer. Final five minutes, we have a 15-point lead and the ball. Let's we'll see if we can run it out. We do. Big upset. Oklahoma State wins 34-19 to in the Big 12 Championship. We might knock TCU out of the top 16. I doubt we make it to the top 16. But a really good game for, from your Sooners. Uh, Everett gets 27 carries for 149 yards. Harley adds in 77 on his own. And so does McGill, adding in nice 40 yards. Really good game. I mean, the season started off terrible, 0-3. And, and we made it all the way to 9-4 and, and Big 12 Conference champs. Really, really good season. Wow, we were so close to a postseason berth in the playoffs. We move up all the way to number 17 in the country. Uh, of course, only the top 16 make it, so we will be in the Sugar Bowl, though, which is one of the top bowl games. Okay, we pick up Ilimanio Yang from Atlanta, Georgia. Nice recruit. Let's check out how our running back is doing. Everett now leads the nation in rushing yards. 
1,481 yards. Of course, he's very far behind Barry Sanders' all-time record, but he has definitely turned up the season. He had a really bad first couple of games. Let me check out the game log. 84 yards, 24 yards, 64 yards. Then he adds a 100-yard game, but then a 60. But then he just really took off 121, 91, 159, 161, 170, 160, 128, and 149. Of course, once he started running well, we started winning a lot of football games. Okay, surprisingly, he does not get an All-American uh, nod for running back. We do get two offensive linemen on All-American teams, one in the first and one in the second, and then Abraham Maddox does make third-team All-American safety. Okay, Madden also wins All-Conference Big 12 quarterback, 25 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, really nice season. Everett does get first-team uh, Big 12 running back with – Almost nearly 1,500 yards rushing, 200 yards receiving. I think the lack of touchdowns has really held him back, though. Okay, we've already hit 17 recruits. We still have two guys who we're definitely going to get. We're slightly behind on Frazier. He doesn't really care about money. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, on to the bowl game against Arkansas. Okay, Amir Long goes ahead and signs with us. Getting us another recruit. We do end up losing out on Frazier. We made it a little bit closer, but they had a really nice pitch of Ace. Plus, they offered him 245000 so we missed out on him. We're definitely going to pick up Jeffrey Grace, and we'll end up having 19 recruits this cycle. Which right now puts us as number 85. We will try to be active in the transfer period and try to pick up a lot of talent. Okay, Arkansas likes to pass the football. They have very similar talent to us. Should should be a really good matchup. Okay, we're favored to win by six and a half. Okay, at halftime, we're up one. To the fourth quarter, we're down six. Final five minutes, they have the football and they're up nine. Now they're up 12. Can our team make the comeback? Incomplete. Nice 16-yard pass. 7-yard run. 13-yard pass. 15-yard pass. We're, we're driving pretty nicely. Let's see if we can cash in. 12-yard pass. We're all the way to the 12-yard line. Incomplete. 11-yard pass. Really close. Cannot get in on the first attempt. We do get, on, get in on the second, making the score 26-20. We do make the extra point. Can the defense, or first we're probably going to try for the onside kick, I would assume. No, they don't want to onside kick it. I'm going to overrule that. Go for the onside kick. Okay, onside kick fails. Let's see if our defense can get the ball back. 13-yard run, 9-yard run. Deflected. Fourth and two, they got to kick a field goal, and they missed it. Wow, a touchdown can win the game. We only have 50 seconds left. We'll see what happens. Five-yard pass, that's not really far. Deflected, 25 seconds left. 
First down, 15 seconds left. Deflected, this is for the game. And it's intercepted. Oklahoma State falls in the Sugar Bowl. We're going to finish the season 9-5 and five with a loss to number 22 ranked Arkansas. Everett's held for under 100 yards. He does get two touchdowns, though. Okay, our season's over for now, but we can check out and see how the rest of the playoffs are going. TCU got beat up by Oklahoma pretty bad. Miami took care of business. Oregon with a victory over Clemson. Florida holds on against Alabama. Michigan upset defeating undefeated UConn. Notre Dame takes care of business. USC wins by one in overtime. Wow, I want to see what happened there. Did you miss the extra point? Or did they go for two? Yes, an extra point missed in overtime to lose the game. Ouch. Sorry, Auburn. That was, that was pretty bad. Okay, so it looks like semifinals. Miami took care of Oregon and Michigan, upsetting Ohio State, winning by seven. So national championship, Eminem, Miami versus Michigan. Got to believe Miami is favored to win this game, though. They are five, five and a half point favorites. Michigan will not be denied. We'll see how well they how much they won by. A 22 to 21 victory. Comeback victory. Really nice. Miami had a chance at the end, but Michigan holds on to win and national championship. Okay, we met our goals by beating our division rival. Uh, we did not win 10 games, but since we won the conference championship, we got a little bit of uh, positivity. However, our fan base passion doesn't move at all, so if we're just barely meeting goals, we're not over overly exceeding them. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hope you guys have a great day.